To turn someone into a hero, the entire episode was dependent on me being able to successfully walk a wire not only close to the ground, but between two rooftops. The first thing I had to do was figure out how to do this, and you want to start on a low wire. So I went to a training facility just south of the Los Angeles International Airport in a warehouse. The goal at first wasn't to walk, it was just to try to balance on the wire. And at first I could not even stand on the wire for more than a second. One of my trainers thought it would be helpful to hold an umbrella while I'm doing it because it was supposed to help with balance, but it didn't help with balance and I thought it looked stupid, so I stopped doing that immediately. Eventually I got my own practice wire that I set up in the office while we were writing the show and I tried to spend as much time on it as I could. It's important to have shoes with very thin soles so your feet are able to feel the contours of the wire. So I was wearing men's jazz shoes that had been modified by cutting off the heels. You know, in a way, when you're on the wire, it is like a dance. So jazz shoes are kind of appropriate. I eventually was able to make it across the two foot tall wire. And so the next step was increasing the height. Richie Gaona, who's famous for being a part of the family circus group, the Flying Gaonas, headed my training team. Like this. Yeah. Instead yeah. of Push, push off in this way. He told me normally it takes two plus years to train for a stunt similar to this, uh, but I only had seven months. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> I was eventually able to cross the wire that was five feet tall, and I knew that I needed to get higher. It cost us $10,000 to set up this 18 foot tall practice wire in some rich guy's backyard. Even just standing, harnessed in at that height was incredibly scary for me. I must have stood on the edge for f half an hour, 45 minutes before I could even take a single step onto that wire. There you go, there you go, take the step. What I didn't realize going into this was that every time you increase the height or change one element of what you're doing, it's as if you're starting from scratch. Oh, I, gotcha. I fell a lot and even if you know you have a safety harness, it still feels like you're going to die. There was also the factor of the weighted bodysuit that I would be wearing on the day. So I started getting in some practice in the bodysuit. You've probably seen professional wire walkers like Nick Walenda use a balance bar. And I actually tried using it. What the balance bar does is it lowers your center of gravity and makes it easier to cross the wire. But in a way, to me, that felt like a cheat and so I opted not to use the balance bar for my final walk. I personally think that using a balance bar is cowardly and I look down on any wire walker that does use it. I trained for over seven months. I started before production even began on the show and it took a lot out of me. Throughout the training process, I didn't want any distractions and I wanted all my energy to go into my training. So I decided to abstain from sex completely throughout the process, um, which was my choice. And I even chose to abstain once I was done the stunt for a little bit, just in case. There was a big level of uncertainty for me and from everyone involved in the production as to whether I would be able to pull this off up until basically the day of. Some people have been critical that I chose to use a safety harness, but uh, I'm not an idiot and I'm, I'm not going to risk my life for some Comedy Central show. I have a fear of heights that I've had since I was young and a big part of this process was overcoming that. When I was on that rooftop, uh, it was honestly the scariest thing I've ever done. I do feel like this was worthwhile to do because uh, I ended up inspiring so many people and turning a regular man into a hero. Now that all my training's done and I've you know, pulled off this stunt, uh, I'm, sex is back on the table for me, so I'm looking forward to getting back into the game and uh, you know, having some intimate situations with people I know or strangers. So uh, I'm very excited about that. <laughs>